Hi Squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, to another video, to another article with me, your girl Doreen. So buckle up and let's take this ride. Um, the title of this video's article is Virgo, Prince Harry and Leo, Meghan Markle are from different galaxies but can weather any storm. Astrology says, oh my god, I love that title. <laughs> Let's repeat it. You know, Virgo, Prince Harry, and Leo Meghan Markle are from different galaxies but can weather any storm. Oh my god, so beautiful! So beautiful, they can weather any storm, and they have proved this. You know, this is not just because of astrology or anything, they have literally proved to us. That no matter what you throw at them these guys are gonna survive it they are going to walk out of it winners you know they are going to walk out of it leaving their 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 haters mouths wide open wondering how they did it but they can weather any storm you know especially because they these guys genuinely like each other you know sometimes it's not about love it's like it's about do you like the person and i believe harry and megan literally like each other and that's why they are each other best support system you know like they are there for each other no matter what but let's dive deeper let's hear what astrology has to say you know the pair have electric chemistry, but what does the star, do the stars have to say about their compatibility? Oh my god, they have electric chemistry. Okay, beware. <laughs> Warning, this, this, this article is full of love, you know, and so if you see me turning into a romantic suddenly, oh my god, these people just inspire the romantic in me, so don't mind me don't mind me um it's safe to say that everyone has their own opinions about prince harry and Meghan markle's relationship but no matter how you feel about them it's impossible not to appreciate and respect the pair's unwavering united front and their electric chemistry they are a magnetic presence when together yes they are <laughs> They are. Oh my god, this article is so nice. I feel like repeating everything I read. You know, I don't even have anything else to add. Because it's true. Whether you hate, whether you love Meghan and Harry, you cannot deny that these guys have a connection. You know, you cannot deny that these guys are in love. You know, you cannot deny that these guys are each other's best supporters. You know, like they are there for each other no matter what. You know, you, you cannot deny. Whether you're a hater or a lover, you cannot deny true love when you see it. And what Harry and Meghan have is true love. The couple now share an idyllic life in sunny Montecito, California with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. But what do the stars have to say about their compatibility? Yes, right now it's just them, you know, the four of them, you know, just there, the little family, you know, kids born out of love. Oh my God. I believe and I know for sure, for sure, there's so much love in that family, in that house. Um... We delved headfirst into astrological territory to find out whether or not Meghan and Harry are a good match based on their star signs alone. Born 4th August 1981, Meghan is a Leo while Harry, born 15th September 1984, is a Virgo. In her book entitled The Signs in Love, Astrologer, oh my god, The Signs in Love! The signs in love. Um, astrologer Caroline Falcana explores the typical relationship dynamic between Leos and Virgos. While her analysis doesn't apply to Harry and Meghan in particular, the stars can only tell us so much. <laughs> there are definitely some interesting insights. 
to be gleaned from Caroline's writing. Ooh, I love this article, guys. I'm so in love with this article. And I'm glad that the writer has said that the book isn't specifically written about Harry and Meghan. It's just, you know, the independent size of Vago and Leo. How would their relationship dynamic look like? So, ooh, let's let's dive deeper. I am excited. I want to know. I want to know what the writer says. I want to know what this article says. Um, according to Caroline, Leos can be tempted to resort to seduction tactics to win over the Vago. But it won't wash in the long run, Caroline writes. If the Vago sees through all the lion's tricks and decides to stay anyway, the magic can begin. Okay, 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 okay. Um, the two signs are directly next to each other on the zodiac wheel, but despite these, Caroline writes that these two may seem as if they are from different galaxies. The Leo is known to be fiery, proud, and confident. Oh my god, Th does that describe Megan, ladies and gentlemen? We know that she's the most confident woman, we know that she's definitely fiery, and yes, she is definitely proud. You cannot walk, walk over that girl, you know? You cannot drag her through the mud, and you know, and she remains silent, you know. Like the way she did um, after they left the royal family, her name was literally washed up in mud. But she was like, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a proud girl. I am a proud girl, and I'm gonna provide the truth for myself, you know. I am gonna provide you guys with the truth, you know, because I cannot allow my name, you know, a name that I have worked so hard to create for myself to be dragged through the mud while I remain silent. So yes, Megan is all these. Well, the Virgo tends to be humble, sensible, and gentle. True! <laughs> this is all Harry. And you can see it in his eyes. He's like a really, really gentle person. And I remember um, when a certain superstar, I can't remember his name, um, when he met Harry and Meghan, that's what he said, that Harry is warm, he is gentle, you know, he's just there providing his warmness, you know, his gentleness, and Meghan on the other side just has this bubbly personality, like she is confident from the word go. So yes, guys, they are perfectly described. Um, however, when the other planets in both of their charts come into play, this is where the two typically form common ground. And when they do, cue the fireworks. Oh, as Caroline writes, that if so, they can weather any storm life sends at them. Ooh, cue the fireworks. They can weather any storm that life sends at them. That when they form a common ground, you know, when they find those two things that bring them together, where they agree on issues, guys, guys, be prepared, be prepared. Um, however, Caroline wants that when a Leo leads with the ego rather than with the heart, these risks causing the downfall of the entire relationship. She writes, if the Leo is not evolved though, it's simply it's simply a vacuum and eventually the Virgo will see through the Leo's apparent selflessness and realize how scheming they are, which quite literally breaks their hearts. But we know, ladies and gentlemen, we know that Megan is led by the heart. Oh my God. We know that she is led by the passions of her life, you know, and this happened way before, you know, she met Harry. So we can say, you know, it's not just about her relationship with Harry. Megan has always been led by the heart, you know, by her love of women, you know, by her love of, you know, um, fighting for their rights. That's what leads her. You know, that's her guiding light, you know. Even beginning the tick, it was all born out of love, you know. So, you know, Megan, she walks by the heart, you know. Um, but she adds, no partner can heal the other's wound quite like these two, which is why both need to, cre um, to tread carefully and respectfully. 
um, to avoid any animosity, Caroline advises both parties to be as open and honest with each other as possible in order to pave the way for a successful relationship. And I think these guys, these guys are just literally open about each other. I believe they have the most honest conversations about what they are feeling, about what they are, you know, experiencing. And this is not just for um for Leos and Virgos. This is not just for Harry and Meghan. I believe it's a key, you know, to a successful relationship. <laughs> I'm about to become a relationship expert, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, you know, like being open and you know being um honest with each other. That's that's like the key. Um, Virgos can struggle with insecurities and so the Leo can help them grow their confidence authentically while also injecting playful and fun energy into their life. Good communication and open hearts are the key for these two as is self-awareness. Let me repeat that because I believe you will see you will see this in Harry's and Meghan's relationship. You will see these even in their relationship with other people like the royal family you will see that this is what they craved for from the word go good communication and open hearts are key for these two okay so good communication open hearts very key you know um, this um i want you to think about their relationship with their royal family you know how they encountered each other you know look at it and you will see that's why that space was not healthy for harry and megan you know especially when they came together <laughs> you know like caroline said when they find a common ground they are stronger together so especially when they came together they realized that place was no longer for them that place was no longer serving them um Caroline also advises that meditation, which Harry and Meghan are both known to practice, is the key to healthy foundation. Um, meditation is valuable for all of us. Meditation is valuable for all of us, but the Virgo, this type of mind training is immensely beneficial. If the Leo and Virgo can, as a couple, partake in it as part of a joint routine, their attachment will be healthy, allowing love and trust to flourish. Oh my God, so beautiful so beautiful and they are known to flourish you know that's why these guys you know their attachment is healthy and their love and trust is always flourishing you know and yes i believe that harry and megan when they're together those guys can weather any storm and it's apparently written in the stars oh so romantic so romantic anyway that was a feel good um video a feel good article it was really beautiful and until the next one bye bye